Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. <clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Stillman. Good morning, we got our Zoom back. <laughs> good morning. <clears throat> In the spirit. Yes, there are rivers. Hey. Good morning, class. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now pushing forward. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't you want it? Do you know you need it? That would be me. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning, class. For those of you that are joining, come back later. God bless you. Let's get our Instagram family in. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Zoomers. God bless you. Hey, we in the flow this morning. Yes, yes. Teach us to be. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Come on in. God bless you. When it's over here, hallelujah. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Oh. Don't you love that? Oh my God. It's so wonderful. <laughs> yes. 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 Come right on in. I'm in my jam mode. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning and God bless you. Good morning. We're so excited about you being here at the School of the Holy Spirit. We got some technical stuff going on, but it's all good because now we know how to work it. <laughs> so please come right on in, come right on in. God is so, so, so good. Praise God. God is moving. God is doing some amazing things. Praise God in the name of Jesus. God is just so amazing. For some reason, uh, we have some challenges with our Facebook page. And uh, we're going to do something a little different. Praise God to make sure that we get on our school of the Holy Spirit. You know, and um, for some reason... Uh, we, I don't think they like the name of my school <laughs> on the, on Facebook, but uh, we're praying in the spirit right now in Jesus name. 
and we are on our Go Tell It page, and we are on our regular page, uh, Carletta J. Vaughn. So we're here. We're also on Zoom. Hey, Instagram, good morning. God bless you. Hey, it is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. God is moving by his spirit regardless. And so I want to send out just a, a word of in, a word of encouragement. Uh, God is doing some things. Bishop Jackson was teaching this morning <clears throat> that that word uh, from uh, the Genesis text with Joseph and how he had to just go through so much. Listen, I want y'all to know this. Don't get distracted in the distraction. Don't get distracted in the distraction. Don't allow anything to, uh, to take you down or take you away from the assignment. Uh, even this morning as we were doing uh, preparing and technological kinds of things, <laughs> Uh, just amazing. Uh, <laughs> praise God. Says, I'm sitting in the parking lot of my gym that was not open as expected. Wow, wow. Don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated. Don't get distraction, distracted in the distraction. And so while I'm working and doing some things right here on social media, then Facebook removes Holy School of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so don't get distracted, folks. Listen, you have the advantage. Good morning to my firstborn. Good morning, Pastor Shannon, Principal Shannon, uh, Psalmist Shannon, Preacher, Teacher Shannon, <laughs> Baby Shannon. Oh, my God. And to Cheek, good morning. Good morning, Alan. Good morning to all my family. Overseer Ryan, Patricia A. Scott, Wanda Sue, Pastor Gerald Folsom. Somebody said, don't get distracted in the distraction. Don't get distracted in the distractions. Praise God. It's a moment to stretch. It's a moment to grow. Praise God. And God is still moving by his spirit. So I'm checking here to make sure, make sure that you guys can go on to the School of Holy Spirit page. It is running over there now. It was transferred over there by uh, my live page. So if you are not being able to get there, it should be there now. In the name of Jesus, we should be live right there. Yes, I can see it. Praise the Lord. We are live on the School of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to be live. Praise God. We're going to put it a couple of other places so that nobody can not find it. <clears throat> we're also going to share. Oh, we got, we got pages. <laughs> We, we got pages, praise God. Uh, we're going to share it on those preaching women's page, praise God. And we are going to share it uh, in Messenger so that if you want to, you can find it there. Praise God. Listen, you're not going to stop us. <laughs> uh, you're not going to stop us. And God is doing some great things regardless. So School of the Holy Spirit, we're going to put it there. Praise God. And then we're going to send it uh, to our groups. Oh, no, you're not stopping us in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we know exactly what to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning to our Instagram families. We are also on Zoom this morning. Praise God. And our free conference call. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. Listen, you can't stop a flow. <laughs> Won't be distracted. We will not be distracted. Don't get distracted in your distractions. Oh, don't you be overwhelmed. Don't you look, don't you look like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't get distracted. Don't get annoyed in, in the process of Holy Spirit giving you victory. Amen. It doesn't matter. Just, just stay focused. Keep your mind on what it is that you're doing. Remember that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus does not eliminate life. Had an amazing um, session yesterday with our faith-based community. Our superintendents were there. Our uh, lead superintendent, Dr. Nikolai Beatty, and our assistant superintendent of family community engagement, 
we were at the cathedral yesterday. Good group, group of pastors, about 50, 60 leaders from the city, different parish ministries. <clears throat> and uh, I, I had asked for a presentation on suicide. And uh, one of the young women that works for the district was powerful, just powerful. And she said this, she said, <laughs> thank you, Todd, absolutely. She said, the one thing that you will recognize that is consistent in suicides is the loss of hope, the loss of hope. And that was just so amazing to me. I'd heard it before by the spirit, uh, but I, 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 I want to just say, folks, keep hope alive. <clears throat> keep hope alive. Do not allow, do not allow life. Do not allow distractions. Do not allow these things to take away your hope. Come on. <laughs> I am lady. She said, I'm, I'm on Instagram. Absolutely. IG. Thank you, Dr. Mitchell. Thank you all, IG. Come on in. Thank you so much for being with us uh, this morning. Thank you, Diane Ferguson. Rita Swain. God bless you, baby. Good morning. Good morning, Lika. Good to see you. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Mitchell. God bless you. I am Lady Royal. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. Happy birthday to your mom. Good morning, Chaplain. Good morning to those of you. We are here. Praise God. And we are here to stay. Praise the Lord. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. And I, I want you to look at this uh, scripture. Romans chapter number five. Romans five. I want you to look at this. Romans chapter number five. We are talking about the law of the spirit. The law of the spirit. We're talking about the law of the spirit. Walking and living in the law of the spirit. Now watch this. It says, therefore, we have been justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance produces character. And character produces hope <laughs> hallelujah and hope does not put us to shame because god's love has been poured into our hearts through the holy spirit who has been given to us please I see you. I see you, Cathedral. I see you. See you, Tracy. Good morning, Mary Wilson. Williamson, good morning. Elder Sherry Anderson, birth of Mama B. God bless you. Hey, Yvonne Reynolds, LaVon Watson. Listen. Listen to me. Evangelist Dekeba. Good morning, Mama Pearl. Praise God. Mama say, I'm still here. Good morning, Elder Tab. I was talking about you yesterday. You must have heard me. Hope will not put us to shame. Hope will not put us to shame. So you got to be a, you got to keep hope alive. I don't care what goes on. Hope will not disappoint us. Hope in God. Hope in God. When you don't have answers, when you don't know what to do, hope in God. God. Hope in God. Good morning, my sister. God bless you, Elder Wendy. Amen. Author in the making. Get that Romans 5 for me if you can in that message. LaShawn Renee. Kai Kai. Good morning. Ekaba. Valerie Thomas. Good morning. Lisa Kirby. Don't get weary. Come on. In well doing. Yes, God. Mother Pearl. Keep hope alive. Papa Noray. 
keep hope alive. One to Cobra. Good morning, sissy. Good morning, Pastor William Lamont, Rebel Frampton, Donna, Donna Reynolds Durham, Ron the Dewey. I'm calling your name because I'm, I'm prophesying to you. Camilla Cook, Janice Rivers Richardson, Melissa Quirk, keep hope alive. Elder Carmelita Chestnut, Sandra Goosby, Dr. Martha Boggs, Dr. Patricia James, keep hope alive. Lay it with love, homemade. Keep hope alive. Keep hope. Keep hope alive. Don't let any circumstance, any situation. <laughs> uh, Chief said that was, uh, was it? Absolutely. Dr. Jesse Jackson, come on. <laughs> keep hope alive. Chris, Chris, keep hope alive. Minnie Washington, Lady Vicey, keep hope alive. Melinda Watts, you got a task in front of you. Keep hope alive. Rhonda Bullock, my God, I was just talking to uh, Melinda Watts about Elder Tabitha uh, Goodner, and they're here together. Oh, come on, Holy Ghost, you working on something. Keep hope alive. You say, Bishop, how can I do it? The law of the spirit has hope built into it. Don't neglect hope. For God has poured, listen to this, Holy Spirit in your hearts that you might know, you might be able to walk in a higher dimension than your frustrations. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Watch this. Let's see what that message says. It says, by entering through faith into what God has already wanted us to do, what God has always wanted to do for us, set us right with him, make us fit for him. Wow. We have it all together with God because of our master Jesus. And that's not all. We throw open our doors to God and discover at the same moment that he has already thrown open this door for us. We find ourselves standing where we've always hoped we might stand, out in the wide open spaces of God's grace and God's glory, standing tall and shouting our praises. Oh my God, are you listening to me? Are you listening? You got to hear this. You got to hear Hear, hear the rest of it. Praise God. Uh, yes, yes. Let's. We going. She gonna put the rest of it up in just a minute. Listen, you have got to keep hope alive. You've got to keep hope alive. It says here that this is the part, uh, Sister Wendy. If you can get that, verse three. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that our suffering produces perseverance as patience and perseverance produces character that's your conduct that's that's how you handle life and character produces hope and hope will not put us to shame <laughs> hope will not put us to shame we continue to shout even when we're hemmed in with troubles because we know how troubles can develop a passionate patience in us. Somebody write that word patience. And how that patience in turn forges the tempered steel of virtue, keeping us alert for whatever God will do next. And in alert expectancy, listen, such as this, we are never left feeling shortchanged. Oh, oh, quite the contrary. We can't round up enough containers to hold everything God generously pours into our lives through the Holy Spirit. Folks, just lift your hands. Woo, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, my God, my God, Mary Wilson Williams, my God, Tracy, 
to Elder Tabitha. Oh my God, Christopher, listen, Maddie Evans, listen, Denise Curry, Nate Green, Elder Carmelita Chestnut, Vandella Hayes, Beatrice Anderson Smith, listen, uh, my evangelist Tish Walker, oh, little cub, patience, patience, patience. Oh, sometimes, sometimes we get ahead of God, we get ahead of ourselves. Oh, Pastor Leonard Staples, Rashawn Butts, Evan Deborah Brown, listen, Kai, Michelle Jam, listen to me. Patience, Dr. Thea uh, uh, Boykins. Listen, uh, listen, 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 listen. Oh, I feel God. Hallelujah. God. Oh, God. We cannot round up enough containers to hold everything that God generously pours into our lives through Holy Spirit. Pastor Val McCune, hallelujah. Hababa Solomon, Suleiman, God bless you, baby. Pamela Rivers, good morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God. And that just moved me so yesterday that the consistent thing that they have found in those who have ended their own lives is that at some point they lost hope. And that just moved me, Ambassador Charlie Thompson, my God. He can't talk out my heshka. Whoa, glory to God. See, the law of the spirit is working for your good. The law of the spirit is not working against you. The law of the spirit is working for our good. But we gotta work with the law. We can't, we can't work outside of the law of the spirit and get the benefits that comes with the life that the spirit produces in us. You've got to live in the law. You've got to live within the confines, Pastor Tony Lee, of the law of the spirit. I feel God in this place, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Somebody needs encouragement today. Somebody needs to hear this word today. Somebody needs to know. The law of the Spirit. Overseer Lenita Jenkins, Dr. Jenkins, Jasmine Stewart, Pastor Joe Fosam, Whoa, glory to God. But you got to work in within the law. You got to work within the law of the spirit. You got to work, Sister Barbenia Black. You got to work within the law of the spirit and patience. Patience is one of those areas that many of us flaunt. Come on, Lisa. I got time. I tell you, you got to work within the law. Uh, God bless you. Uh, Dr. Michelle Connum, you got to work within the law. Elder Tabitha. We got to stay in the law of the spirit. The law of the spirit. We understand that sufferings come. We understand that sufferings produces patience. See, you want to get frustrated, but what God is working out through your sufferings is patience, perseverance. All of us wish it was yesterday. All of us, Dr. Deidre, all of us wish it was yesterday, right? But we don't have no patience and we get frustrated. We want things to work out day before yesterday. We get frustrated because we don't think people are moving fast enough. We get frustrated because we don't think God is moving fast enough. We get frustrated because we don't believe uh, that that God is, is, is working uh, with us. So we take matters in our own hands. I want to read this one more time. I need you to see that. It says that we continue to shout our praise. I'm in Romans 5. We continue to shout our praise even when we're hemmed in with troubles because we know that troubles produces a passionate patience in us and how that patience in turn forges the tempered steel of virtue. That's your character, folks. That's your character. Keeping us alert for whatever God will do next 
And in this alert, in this alert, in this, in this state of sensitivity to the Holy Spirit, we are never left feeling shortchanged. Quite the contrary. We can't round up enough containers to hold everything that God generously pours into our lives through Holy Spirit. Oh my God, who am I talking to today? Who needed to hear this today other than me? Hallelujah. Your business will grow, but it won't grow overnight. Your church and ministry will grow, but it won't grow overnight. Your finances will grow, but it won't grow overnight. You will mature, but you won't mature overnight. <laughs> my, my baby Michelle said, you're talking to me. It won't. You will get promoted. You will make enough money. You will. You, you will. God will provide for you, but it won't happen overnight. I've been here 20 years. It won't happen overnight. Nothing that God is doing, Alicia K. Hamilton, will work out overnight because with the promise comes this developmental process. And this is, you got to learn the law of Holy Spirit. The premise, come on, Troy, I love that. You have to understand the premise. Hatorabababashata. Uh, you have to understand the premise of God's promise. Absolutely. My business won't grow overnight, but it will grow. Hallelujah. Our ministries will not grow overnight, but it will grow. Because while God is promised, now I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm from the perspective that you have received a promise. You didn't just jump out and do something, but you have a promise. And so from the promise, you can count on the promise producing what the promise promised. <laughs> but it's not overnight. It's not overnight. It's not overnight. And while these things are happening, you have to understand that character, patience, virtue, the things that Holy Spirit must develop in our lives elder demetrius holy spirit must develop these things so suffering produces patience patience produces character character produces hope and hope will not disappoint us hope will not disappoint Oh God, see the problem so many times. If you rush through the process, you will get what God promised, but you can't hang on to it. Can't hang on. I've seen it in the body of Christ so many times. I've seen it in business so many times where they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait for the process and they found a way around. They found a roundabout. I've seen these young cats go out here. They started church. They got a church full of young folks. They got a church full of excited people. And then they say, all right, I'm going to be one church in five locations. And they start trying to. Now, maybe God promised that to you. But it won't happen overnight. It won't happen overnight. <laughs> Somebody was talking about, we have a young pastor here that we all love, Solomon Kinlock, and he has the Triumph Church. And over before COVID, uh, his model was one church in multiple locations. And I've known uh, Kinlock since he was a young guy, a young boy at New Bethel. And um, I want to show, I just want to, I don't know, Holy Spirit just told me to share this. Okay, so I'm going to share it. So y'all lean in. And uh, <clears throat> he, he took this church, Triumph Missionary Baptist Church, and he, in, in, in his being a young forward thinker, he, God gave him a model of one church in multiple locations. Powerful. Lean in, lean in, lean in. 
And for those of us in Detroit, we watched maybe the last 10 years him procure buildings and procure properties. And we watched this literally probably the only real mega church uh, in our in our in our city um, just kind of explode. And what really the only model uh, Pastor Solomon's done an amazing as a single guy, single young guy. And so everybody was just so excited. And so I saw some of these young cats, you know, just say, I'm going I'm to do it too. So they started renting out buildings and, you know, doing things, trying to, trying to emulate the model. And so um, I was talking to someone yesterday, uh, a young, young man that uh, was part of our family, the Ellis, Ellis and Maria Smith family. We, we all family. And uh, Pastor Sonny was with us at the meeting. We were just talking. And uh, he was raising a situation to me. And I said, you talk about the Yapper? And uh, he said, yeah. I said, David the Yapper, the founder of Triumph, the, the original, one of the original pastors of Triumph Missionary Baptist Church. He said, yeah, you know him. I said, he used to preach here in this church. We were all a part of Calvary District. Pastor David DeAmpert. And we used to go to his church on Visca Road in Southwest Detroit. It was just a little church, just a little building. We all was, you know, Baptists. We was in Calvary District. We was in the Wolverine State Convention and I think at some point, Dr. DeAmper may have been one of the moderators. And uh, he was a phenomenal preacher. He was just kind of looking at me like, Bishop, you know everybody. So I've been around. I've been in ministry 51 years, folks. <laughs> yeah, I know David. And we were just talking about, you know, Dr. DeAmper and his family. And he'd had some tragedies. His daughter had gotten into a car accident and did, did not survive. And sons and he kept that church. And then at, after he passed and they chose um, young Kenlock as the pastor, he said, I didn't know that. I said, see, what, what you don't realize is that what you see Pastor Kenlock doing didn't start with Pastor Kenlock. It started with David DeAmper in a little church called Triumph Missionary Baptist Church on Visca Road in Southwest Detroit. I believe the building is still there. My sister would know. Now, what, what are you saying, Bishop? What if what God has promised us is aborted by us because we got impatient? We got in the place where we lost hope and we, we, we became an enemy or liability to the promise of God. I, I just need somebody to know, Elder, Elder Clifton, I, I just need you to know, see, when I look at, let me just use Elder Clifton. I'm talking about old school Pentecost, his whole family. So you look at a Don Shelby, or you look at some of the things that's going on. You look at a perfecting and a, a bishop uh, elect Marvin Winans. And, but if I drive down St. Albin right now, <laughs> there's this little building up there and there's this name Winans. I said, wow, that's where it starts. We don't like beginnings. We only want to get to the end, but that's not the law of the spirit. That's the law of the flesh. Oh, is anybody listening to me? <laughs> Good morning, my beautiful sister. How many times did we go to triumph? She was a little girl. How many times did we go to triumph and sing in Southwest Detroit with our mother and our father? At annual sessions, Calvary District, where David DeAmper was the pastor. And now when you see a Solomon Kinlock, 
You say, ooh, ooh, no, no, go back to Viscaro. You see a perfect and go back to St. Alban. When you see, listen to me. The law of the spirit demands that we must go through this process. That's the law of the spirit. That's the law of the spirit. We don't like beginning. You young folk that's in the city, all oh, y'all, y'all talking that, 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 yeah, that, that's kid lot, yeah, that, that, yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah. But you don't know beginnings, foundations, and what people had to go through and how long it has taken for it to evolve into what we now observe. That's why you can't lose hope, folks. You can't lose hope. Ooh, I know you, you know, I, I listen to these young preachers. I, I, I'm so excited about young preachers. I'm so excited about you and your excitement. But honey, boys and girls, <laughs> the lions, tigers, and bears, you're not gonna, you're not gonna avoid it. You're not gonna get around it. You still got to wait. <laughs> you still got to go through. You still got to be patient. You still got to develop. You still got to get hurt, disappointed. You still got to get betrayed. You still got to get lied on. I know you're excited and you, oh my God, you're just, oh, y'all, but you still got to go through the process. That's the law of the spirit. You get an appointment, you get an assignment to go preach or to go teach, and you think that your ministry is ready for television. It's not. <laughs> you get a you get an assignment to go sing someplace, and it's a huge stage, and you think you're ready for a million dollar contract. You're not. You're not. You 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 want you want things to happen overnight. You think you're gonna change the trajectory of the process, but you're not. You're not, you're not. You still got to put some time in. You still got to be hurt, backstabbed, choked. You still got to be let down, frustrated. You still got to get pissed off. You still, we got to still see how you handle it. When you mad, we still got to see. You get in the mic, you throw off. Listen, we still got to watch the process. Oh, you're a good little preacher. You're a good little singer. Yeah, but you ain't been processed. And that's the part we don't like. But that's the law of the spirit. The law of the spirit of life in Jesus. You still must go through the process. You, yeah, yeah. Oh, my little baby, so he's so gifted. He's so talented, but he's mean as hell. Oh, he's so talented and he's so this and, huh? But he's mean. He's got an anger demon. And it's still got to be processed. It's still got to be pro And you can't run. The law of the spirit will not allow you to avoid the process. You might be 20, 25. You might be 50. You might be 70. But you still got to be processed. Watch this. Watch this. And this hope will not put you to shame. Come on, Jemison. This hope will not put us to shame. This hope will not put us to shame. Why? Because God's love is poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Baby, <laughs> yeah, this, this process is real. But the fruit of it, the, out, the, the outcome, that what it produces, the wisdom, the wisdom, the maturity. I, listen, I know gifted folks. I am out here 50 years. I know gifted people who can preach, sing. My God, they can work up a, 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 a crowd into a lather. Folks is, is turning around and swimming and, and don't even know they're swimming. They're running and don't know they're running. They know how to work up a ladder. They know how to keep, but no fruit, no, rem, no, listen, listen, elder, fruit that don't remain. You, you, you can't find them. 
And if you meet them in person, they are not nice. If you meet them in person, they're not pure. They're not clean. Because that process somewhere along the line, the, the process has been aborted. They lost hope in the process. Somebody write that down. Don't lose hope in the process. Don't lose hope in the process. And this is why he gives us Holy Spirit. Oh, you think you you getting ready to fly? You can re you think you think now, yo, because you got yourself some preaching engagements. You got about twelve of them on your calendar, and you oh, and you get you think you getting ready to fly? You ain't flying. You you gonna be on that runway a good little while. You gonna be on that runway. You ain't taking off no way. You gonna be on that runway. <laughs> God got a runway that's longer than any airport. You gonna be on that run? Oh, you just think, oh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm getting ready. Ha, I'm, I'm. A, no, you gonna have to go through the same process as the rest of us. That's the law of the spirit. Because when we get where God is taking us, when we get where God has assigned, which is a wealthy place which is a place among those that are sanctified. When we get to that place, we cannot abort. We cannot. So we must make our mistakes in our obscurity. That's the law of the spirit. <laughs> we, must, we must get embarrassed in our in obscurity. We, how do we handle rebuke? How do we handle correction? How do we handle being set down? Do we get offended? How do we handle this? Listen, because you can minister the word and you 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 excited, you sweaty, and you wet when you're done, and you can run a service and you can run a worship team and you can you can run you can run a business, somebody else's business. It doesn't mean you know how to run your own. You might be the most famous employee on that job, but you don't know how to run the company yet. Oh, is anybody hearing me? How do you handle correction? Do you get an attitude? Do you pout? Do you run off? How do you? How do we do these things? Do are, are we combative and argumentative? Do we know how to submit? Have we been able through the processing of the Holy Spirit? Have we developed character? Have we developed good conduct? Some of us ain't committed to nothing. We ain't committed to nothing. The moment a little hiccup comes, the moment an alligator shows up, we're not committed to nothing. Oh, are you listening to me? Uh -uh. I don't think that that's God. I know what God told me. Now, I'm never going to fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to fight what God told you, but allow a little old lady who's been in this thing a little while, <laughs> allow me to give you a little wisdom. It ain't going to happen as fast as you think it will. It's not going to happen as fast. <laughs> You're not going to break no records. <laughs> you, you, you think you are, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, yes, but there's a law in the spirit. There's a law. Listen, let me tell you something. John said, John said, listen. <laughs> My favorite word is see me now or see me later. But you will see me. See, one of the things that I've learned about Holy Spirit is that he is going to develop that character. Come on, TJ. He's going to develop that conduct and he's going to develop that commitment. We ain't committed, folks. We don't have no real commitment. No, we get we get along as long as we're getting along. But the moment we don't get along, the moment we ain't, we break up. We break up. We, we, ain't, we ain't together no more. We break up because we didn't get along. We didn't see things the same way. See, God got to work all of that out of us. God got to work all of that out of us. That's the law of the spirit. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus will set us free from the law of sin and death. And so Holy Spirit is being poured into our hearts. Giftings and ministries, opportunities, innovations, genius ideas. 
All of that is being poured into us by Holy Spirit. It's being poured into us. Well, we are invincible. We are unquenchable. We're all of those things by the power of his Holy Spirit. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead quickens us now in our mortal bodies. Oh, but that character, <laughs> that conduct, how do you handle suffering? How do you handle it when you think you've been mistreated? How do you, what's your response? Can you still preach? Can you still usher? When you feel like you've been when you feel like you've been disrespected, oh, I, that word, I don't even know if we know what that really means. Hey, he disrespected me. How you act when you feel like you've been disrespected? Do you still show up to work on time? Do you still do an outstanding job when you feel like your supervisor, your steward, your boss disrespected you? How do you act? Hey, Kaba Hashka. How do you respond? Do you respond or do you react? It's all in your attitude. It's all in the way you show up. Yeah, I showed up for church. Yeah, but your attitude was funky. You 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 didn't have a good spirit about you. I ain't never I never missed church. Yes, you did. You may have been there physically, but you brought your offense with you. Yeah, you see, be in Kiashkatu. Yes, she got another see. Yes, she got another bossy. Whoa, shot another bossia. Glory, 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 glory. God, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. You want wisdom. You want insight. You want to know the thoughts of God. You want to know the things that God has freely given you. First Corinthians chapter two. Yes, but in order to reach that plateau in God. There's another law that's got to be worked. How do you show up? And some of you are just plain, plain, just old fashioned mean. Yeah, God got to work that meanness out of us. God got to work that out of us, that, that I got to control everything. If I'm not in control, I need the old shot, your grace. If I'm not in control, I ain't, I ain't running. That ain't the way it ought to go. That, and then you get surprised. <laughs> and God said, that's exactly how I want it to go. Now, what's wrong with your attitude? See, we see ourselves. Actually, we see ourselves. If, if what God has put in you is from God, if Holy Spirit has poured it out in your hearts and what God has promised you comes from God himself, then you have to go through the processing. Woo, shot Oh, I just, I just, I can't do it. I just, no, no, that ain't what God told me. That, that, oh my God, I can take you to the desert where the carcasses are. I can take you to the wilderness where the carcass lie of those that thought they had a better plan. Oh my God, I've been in it long enough now. Yeah, God, I've seen it repeat itself over and over again, over and over again. But people get in their flesh. People get in their feelings. People jump out of the process prematurely and end up wandering, wandering, wandering. Leave your place, leave your job, wandering. I ain't going back to work. Why? That uh, uh, He ain't going to disrespect me no more. And end up wandering. End up wandering. End up in your emotions. End up in a place of poverty and lack because as the law of the spirit was working out in your life, you aborted the process because you lost hope. You lost hope. Oh, God, I'm not Oh, listen, I'm telling you, uh, in our lectionary readings, Joseph is part of our lectionary readings. And you just look at that ministry of, of, of Joseph. Oh, God, listen to this. Karen said a young man who preached in our church Sunday said he was in the store Saturday and someone punched him in the mouth. He reacted with the word of God against that person and still got in the pulpit and preached. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen, folks, I cannot tell you. Did I, have I told you about the times that I've been attacked in ministry? Have I told you about the time? And I'm on the old shot. 
Thank you, Lisa. Have I told you <laughs> about the time that I was in Washington, D.C., preaching at the National Church of God? Oh, my God, the largest national, the largest church of God uh, in, in the denomination at the presiding bishop's church. And I'm preaching and I'm preaching and the power of God is falling. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm preaching and the bishop is on his feet and he's going home to be with the Lord now and I'm just a preaching, just going on right there in, in, in D.C. Come on, John Andrew, what was the bishop's name? Oh my God, I'm just preaching and the revival is going good. I go down to the altar and I'm ministering to somebody. It's a crowd of people at the altar. And I'm ministering, I'm ministering, I'm ministering. And oh God, it's a Sunday now. We'd have been there two weeks and the spirit of the Lord is moving in such a powerful way. Good morning, Terry Jones. <laughs> listen to me, you young folks. Listen, listen, you young cats. <laughs> you young kittens and cats. Hey, God, this ministry, baby, I got stories. And I'm, I'm out, Bishop T.L. Laurie. Good God, he's going home to be with the Lord. End up being the presiding bishop of the Church of God, Cleveland, Tennessee. He was a dear friend to me, and he... He, he embraced me. Went, 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 was getting ready to go home. And not the fireball. That's a whole nother story. I got stories over here. Too. And I get outside and my little adjutant, and I see some of my, you know, people that I knew come to Detroit. I said, go, go back, Sandra. Let's go back. So we go back. And she said, Bishop, I wasn't the Bishop. Van, you want to get out the car? I said, yeah. I said, that's, that's so and so. I get out the car. And there's a peep, there's a, you know, group, and they're so glad to see me, whatever. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, this man, Pastor Pat, this man punches me so until I fall back. And by the time I go down, somebody punched me in my face. And then somebody kicked me, and I could feel, I, 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 I Blood is running. I can feel my face swelling. I'm in my church clothes. It's a Sunday. About that time, the young lady that, that got me, somebody came from some I don't know, and they pulled me out of the crowd. It was Bobby. I don't know what, what that was. And listen, and they dragged me and got me back in the car. And I said, what in the world? I'm, 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 I'm in shock. And the girl is driving me, my adjutant, she's upset. She's screaming. <laughs> About that time I turned back, it's a ruckus and the folks is fussing and fighting. And, and I'm like, what just happened to me? The girl looks over at him and she said, we got to take you to the hospital. I said, why? She said, don't look at your face. Don't not look at your face. I said, what, what was that? So now I'm, I'm just, I'm weak. I'm, I'm out of breath. I, what, did, what just happened? I get to the hospital and they, and they take x-rays and they say, oh my God. And they patch me up and we get to the hospital, to the hotel Somebody called Pastor Cherry, my pastor at the time. And pastor came to the hotel. He said, what in the world just happened? I said, I don't know. I don't know. By that time, Bishop Laurie gets to the hotel because we have an evening service. He said, what just happened? Steve, is his son comes, Bishop comes. Everybody is like, what in the world? And I said, it doesn't matter. I'm going back to church tonight. Bruise and bandit. I'm going. I'm going back. <laughs> I preached a whole nother week. <laughs> hey, the law of the spirit, folks. The law of the spirit. The law of the spirit. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. And so I preached and God kept moving and people kept getting healed. 
and it it was it wasn't overseer ryan listen i want you to understand this listen to me listen to me listen to me we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces patience uh, uh, apostle latanya jemison she was there pastor pat Listen, these people have been around me for 30 plus years, 40 years. I don't lie to y'all. I don't, I don't come on here to lie. I'm trying to tell you the law of the spirit. Of course, the, 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 the young man got arrested and I think he and his wife did some time and, you know, the story got all co co coagulated and Listen, I understand, Bishop Charity, I understand. I understand that sometimes you don't think it's fair. I get that sometimes. <laughs> Elder Clinton said, I'm ready to go back in time. <laughs> Listen, the law of the spirit will produce some sufferings and some sufferings will produce patience and patience will produce character and conduct oh yes I, great preacher great yes yes great revelation of the word but baby when that boy knocked me and i praise god i never fell to the ground because if i had fallen to the ground he probably would have stopped me to death you said well why did god let that happen to you why did why did you have to go through that because the law of the spirit Spirit, <laughs> the law of the spirit. And listen to me, never got bitter, praise God. Didn't, 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 never felt like I should retaliate. Never felt like I should, that I, I should, 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 should be able to fight back. No, 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 no. Listen, folks, <laughs> I'm trying to say, Bishop, you say, I was going through the process. See, the law of the spirit of light in Christ Jesus sets us free from the law of sin and death. And at that moment, you got to decide, am I going to work in the law of the spirit or am I going to work in the law of the flesh? See, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> You got to make a decision. Uh, Apollina said, where are they today? I don't know. But listen, I made a decision. I'm going to stay in the law of the spirit. I'm going to stay in the My children heard about it. They were young. And, and, and it, was, it was all over the news. It was, oh, it was big. And when I look back at it now, <laughs> Elder Ramita said, I need more Holy Spirit. <laughs> If we suffer with him, we'll reign with him. That the, that the sufferings of this present age does not compare to the glory. See, y'all, y'all get out. I, I, I get how people feel. I know how I feel, but I know that there's a greater glory. I know that the law of the spirit at that moment would not prevent God using me unless I let anger in, unless I let bitterness in, unless I let revenge in. If I don't allow those things to come in, then the glory, the glory of God. And that night, the glory of the Lord fell in that place. Oh yes, I was bandaged up. And yes, my lip was swollen. And yes, my eye was black. And yes, but I preached anyway. And God moved anyway. And yes, I had to heal. And yes, I had to go through it. Court and all, I had to go through it. <laughs> Woo, but it does not compare to the glory that be that is being revealed even now. Even now that the glory of God is being revealed. When I read the scripture and the spirit of revelation and the spirit of knowledge that comes, when I get up and I'm able to be here three years plus, every day, Monday through Friday, and teach on Holy Spirit, and still have not exhausted it, and still excited about the opportunity to be here with you in this school every day, 
When I look at how God has blessed the cathedral, how God has honored the cathedral how, around the world, when I look and see, go tell it ministries and the partners and the pastors around the world. The glory <laughs> does not compare to the suffering. I told them my hand Oh God, oh God, I never lost my praise. I never lost my hope. Oh God, I give you glory. It's not because of me, it's the law of the spirit. If I can help you to understand how this works, come out of your fleshly thinking, come out of your fleshly minds. This is a different realm. This is a different dimension of existence. This is a different way of living and breathing and perceiving. This is totally different, folks. And it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. As long as you don't give up hope. Ha, ah, I got to go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Reba Nidush. I give you praise. I give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, don't miss this. God, share this on your page. Share this on your page. We are going to keep digging into this law of the spirit. I just want you to review it. Share it. Share it. Like, tag, and share it. I got to get out of here. I got to go. <laughs>